So over the weekend, I got my hands on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip, primarily because I was intrigued by the idea of having a 6.7 inch display in such a compact form factor. And I have to say, after using the Galaxy Z Flip, I would love to have an Apple iPhone Flip. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. So like I was saying, I got my hands on the Galaxy Z Flip. It comes in the standard Samsung packaging for the Galaxy phones, the black box, you know, the deal by now. So we're not gonna get into like a full review of this guy, but I wanted to look at it in light of the perspective of having an iPhone version of a flip phone. So I wanna talk about some of the things I really like about the Galaxy Z Flip, some things that I don't necessarily like about the device. So we're gonna get into it now. So here's the unboxing. I'm not gonna go into a super detailed unboxing here. It does come with a little case, which I thought was nice, two part case. So we'll just lift it out of the box right here and pull it up like that. And there we go. This is the Galaxy Z Flip. You can see 6.7 inch display, but obviously it has a trick up its sleeve. It's able to fold in half. See that little crease there in the middle. So this is the flip and the paint flips on the flip as well, as you can see there. So it changes all sorts of colors depending on the light hitting it. So other standard details, fingerprint sensor, volume buttons, the nano SIM slot, the hole punch front facing camera, and most importantly, the hinge that allows this device to fold in half. So you get a much more portable compact form factor that looks really awesome. I have to say Samsung did a good job for the most part with the design of this thing. I just love the idea of folding a phone in half and then having it take up a much smaller footprint. Now, obviously it's gonna be a little bit thicker because you're basically increasing the thickness by two, but it takes up much less vertical space in your pocket. So you get the benefits of that large screen without taking up so much room. And that's what I really wanna focus on, the portability. Like look at the iPhone 11 Pro Max next to the Galaxy Z Flip. The Galaxy Z Flip has a 6.7 inch diagonal display versus the iPhone 11 Pro Max's 6.5 inch display. Now obviously the Pro Max is a little bit wider, so it's not exactly an apples to apples comparison, but I think it's safe to say that both devices pack a very large display in this form factor. But the Z Flip has a distinct advantage. Yes, indeed, as you see there, it folds in half. So compared to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, I mean, it's, it's a big difference, right? It's much more portable when folded in half. Now, obviously, like I said earlier, it is a little thicker, well, a lot thicker, but I think I would be willing to live with that. What do you guys think? Like, would you like to have an iPhone that folded in half? I could see Apple making a, a little bit of a thinner device and allowing it to be folded in half so it wouldn't be as thick, but with that reduced footprint, I'd be able to live with the added thickness. One of the other cool things about this phone is the clamshell mode because there's an external display. It's a small display, but there's an external display here in the bottom left hand corner right next to the camera. And that external display tells you the time, it tells you current battery status. It can also show you notifications and you can launch apps from those notifications in a continuity style using that touch enabled display. So here you can see it's displaying my incoming call and I can actually tap on that, swipe left or right to accept or reject the call. So now the call's in progress, you can see the time there. So that's a pretty useful feature. And as mentioned, you can tap on a notification, open up your phone, and it will continue and pick right up where you left off with that notification. You can also double tap the side button, which provides you with a selfie view for taking selfies even with the device closed. So I think it's a pretty cool way that Samsung went about using that front facing display. Of course, I'm not a huge fan of Samsung software. I've never been a fan of their, like their Android skin. I'd really love to see Apple's take on this. Of course, they're really good with small displays being that they have the Apple Watch. I'd love to see Apple do something different like this. Now, thanks to the very stiff hinge on the Galaxy Z Flip, they have something called Freestyle Fold, which allows you to adjust the display to the perfect viewing angle for whatever you're doing. So if you're taking a selfie, you can get that perfect viewing angle. Notice though, what's really cool about this is that with the camera app, you'll notice that the buttons actually change position 
based on how the display is tilted. So if you open it all the way up, you get a more traditional view with the buttons at the top of the interface and a larger view. But another benefit of Freestyle Phone is that it allows you to get that perfect selfie angle. So it's basically like the phone has a built-in stand, which is really cool in my opinion. Now, when you're doing things like browsing the web, you can just use the phone like you would expect, just like this, get that perfect angle. You can even split applications on both sides of the display. What do you guys think about Freestyle Photo? Let me know down below in the comments section. Now, the last thing I wanna to touch on is build quality because this is where the Galaxy Z Flip is showing a few problems. Now, overall, the device is well-built, like the exterior is well-built. The hinge feels very durable, like it will hold up over you know thousands and thousands of folding and unfolding. Now, unlike other folding phones, Samsung says that they're actually using glass instead of plastic. And that may be true, but this is not the same type of glass that you're used to on the iPhone. It's very thin, and of course you do have the crease in the middle of the display where the device folds. Now, that crease isn't as noticeable when looking at it dead on, and you have like a light background, but when you have a dark background, you're looking at it from an angle, the light's hitting it, you do notice that crease. Uh, you can feel it with your fingers, of course. But the most concerning issue is that the display is susceptible to scratches. And I'm not just talking about surface scratches, I'm talking about deep scratches that are permanent on the display. Just with a fingernail, like I just apply a little bit of force with my fingernail, now I have like a permanent indention in the display, which is supposed to be glass. So that's something else to keep in mind. Uh, also, Another thing to keep in mind is that if any sort of debris gets in here, when you're folding this phone, you're gonna be in serious trouble. It also, because of the design, is not dust or water resistant. And in 2020, that definitely feels like a step backwards. So the Galaxy Z Flip is far from perfect, right? It's not even the type of phone I would think I would use as my daily driver, but I will say that compared to the iPhone, it is, very compact and that is one of the best things about this device is that it can fold up and basically be half its size granted you're going to have a little bit of thickness there in the process but i think samsung is definitely on to something here i don't think this is just a fad i think there is definitely something to this form factor i mean think about it we already have laptops that we use we open them up they become much bigger than they are when you close the laptop and it's the same principle right here with the phone it can be a much smaller device when compact like this, but then you open it up and you have this huge display. And I think Apple could do some really interesting things in this area. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments section. Should Apple make a flip phone? Let me know. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.